Hey guys, it's Nadine and welcome to my channel. Firstly, I wanted to thank all of you for the love and support you gave me and expressed to me from my previous video. I really felt the love and I saw that a lot of you guys also related with me in terms of my feelings with social media and I feel like we are just growing up together and we're getting all of these realizations, life realizations. On that video, I talked about how I've been reading a lot of books. So in this video, I wanted to give you guys like my book recommendations recommendations and let you guys know what I've read and my thoughts on them. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare and I'll be talking a little bit more about them later. And I also wanted to let you know that I am opening up like a donation drive sort of thing for jeepney drivers. A lot of the jeepney drivers are affected greatly because of the pandemic, because they can't operate. So basically this donation drive thing is I want to make collages for you guys and I love making collages. Like I'm, I get super into them. It takes some time because I have to like find the pictures and stuff. I want to make you guys like customizable custom collages and they're really from my heart. So if you guys have, you know, extra funds or extra money, then I hope you could consider this. If you want to donate but you don't want a collage, you can directly go to the donation drive that I'm partnering up with. They're called Parapo drive 2020 on instagram but i really want to make collages for you guys so uh yeah all of the information will be in the description bar and yeah how everything will work it's gonna be there as well as the link to order also to be transparent with you guys all the money that i'm getting from this skillshare sponsored video i'm gonna donate to the GP drivers because it's really the least that i can do it's not much but it's something and i know that it can help least someone you know that's that yeah we can get started with my book recommendations the order that i'm going with is by order of when i read it so let's get started okay the first book that i read is super popular it's called normal people by sally rooney so i was looking for a book that would make me feel things and it's not necessarily like a light and fluffy romantic novel i wanted something that was real i love this book so much i gave it five stars because it just made me feel certain things and it made me cry and it just showed the complexity of human relationships and how messy things are and how entangled you can be with someone or however many people and i liked how the characters aren't perfect and they're just like beautifully messy quick synopsis of this book so obviously there's a guy and a girl main character and it just goes through their life together and also not together since high school secondary school up till college and you just see how someone that you're super close with you kind of go in and out you know how you have friendships that you're like super close with at a certain point of your life and then you kind of drift away and then you kind of become strong again like it's exactly that and so much more the book is written in both of their perspective so it alternates from girl guy girl guy and then there's also like time jumps so it's not like you know there's like sometimes it skips a couple of months or sometimes just a couple of weeks but yeah you don't really know the full story you just get to see snippets of their lives and i, I love that personally i really like that concept uh, i really liked reading about their thoughts in her monologues because i found myself relating to the characters even though we're like completely different there are some sentiments that i really just felt um especially you know how you would think and feel a certain way but then your actions and what you would utter to the other person's completely opposite and so miscommunication happens and i know it's something that all of us like experience it's it's a really great book it's heartbreaking at times it's set in ireland so it's really i, I really like um the little cultural differences that i get to learn i really like sally rooney's writing style and i just can't wait to read more books from her yeah so if you guys want a book that's kind of messy and intricate but also so beautiful i highly recommend normal people by sally rooney so since I loved her so much, I needed to read her other novel, her first one called Conversations with Friends. And this book is a little bit more wild for me because 
here's a poorly spoken synopsis by Nades. So the main characters of the story are two best friends, two girl best friends, but they're exes. And then two, a married couple, a guy and a girl who's older, like they're in their 30s. And then the two exes, they're college age, they're 21. So from that, just that dynamic, it's so interesting. Since I presented like two couples, you guys already know that there's gonna be like an affair. It's not a spoiler, it's in the synopsis itself. I'm obviously related to this story way less. I still like it because of Sally Rooney's writing. Like she writes in a very interesting way, very easy, but all of her books, like you just can't put it down because you just want to know what happens next. The characters are all very self-absorbed and very just messed up in my opinion. I couldn't really relate to them much, but I like the tea and I found it interesting. But it's also very intriguing, the part wherein you know there's an affair and you're like, oh my god, are they gonna get caught? If you're bored and you just want to pass time, I feel like this is a book that you can read. The next book that I read is The Four Agreements. I've read this book already before, but I just wanted to reread it because I needed life advice and just solid like heart advice, life advice. I needed it, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna reread this book. And it gave me so much healing. It was hitting me the right way, giving me the right amount of comfort. I don't know, I shared um, a couple of excerpts, I guess, photos on Instagram from this book. I would um, describe this book as a nice conversation with your grandpa or someone like older, like a nice sunny afternoon we're in this person with so much wisdom is just telling you about their life or like things that they've learned from their life and just yeah you just listen and kind of nod type of thing so the four agreements let me just quickly read what they are i won't really explain everything but i want to tell you like what really hit me so there's be impeccable with your word don't take anything personally don't make assumptions and always do your best and the one that really hit home was don't take anything personally it's raining so i'm gonna put you guys close to my mouth i read this during a time wherein i was taking things too personally i was taking things too hard certain things were hard to accept and i just felt like everything was like my fault stuff like that but it really isn't like situations happen as they should and it's not your fault that something happened you know like don't be so self-centered that everything's your fault because it's not okay i'm giving it a super bad explanation so i just recommend you guys to just read this book actually not everything i super like agree with or super like hit home with me but like i said it's more of like an afternoon with someone that you really respect so you're just nodding along but then you're also thinking like how does this apply to me and do i really believe what they're saying because the main point of this book is you have the power also to like think for yourself even other people's words like it doesn't have to affect you so much I recommend reading this if you're like going through something. And I hope that when you read this, you guys find um, healing as well as warmth from Mr. Don Miguel Ruiz. The next book that I wanted to talk about that's very just, it hit my heart as well is When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi. So here's a quick synopsis of what this book is about. So again, it's a memoir. Paul is a neurosurgeon and on his 36th year, at the peak of his career actually, he found out that he has lung cancer and it's stage four. So it's like super like vigor, I guess, super strong, I don't know. The book talks about his life and I want you guys to experience it for yourself so i don't really want to say much but just how he writes and like his thoughts i've had a lot of moments where i was like i never thought of this or or i never thought of that in that way just a lot of moments like that one of his like main questions in life that he tried answering throughout his life like i said is what makes life meaningful and he tried searching for answers through different ways first through literature because he is also like a literature major and he has like a master's in English lit or something. 
And then secondly, he tried finding the answer more like head on, I guess, through medicine. And it's so interesting to see and read things he learned. And I guess another question for me is like, as he was searching for the meaning of life, I guess, or what makes life meaningful, did he really like go super close to finding the answer? Or because for me, the deeper you dig into a certain topic, I feel like the farther you get and like more questions come up and you just realize that at the end of the at the end of the day it's peace that you're finding and just peace that you're never gonna know and it's really a struggle but I appreciate this book so much and I'm so happy that he got to write this it's one of his life goals and he got he got to publish it I'm just so grateful for his family as well. If you search the story of his wife after um, Paul passed, it's just another beautiful story unfolding. And I just think life is so fragile and so hard. But I don't know, there's just there's still magic in it somehow. And you can also feel the magic in the form of this book and in the form of words from a stranger that you don't really know but somehow you connect with so well like i love books memoirs um yeah i recommend this so much okay <sighs> Whew, okay so those are the books that i've read recently currently the book that i'm reading is sapiens by yuval noah harari and i'm only three or four chapters in but my pal my friend who's also reading the same book described it nicely he was like reading this book made me feel like i was a kid again reading an almanac or something and guys do you remember almanacs do you remember those like guinness um, book of world records books that we would borrow from the library this book seriously feels like that and it really makes you feel like a kid makes you feel wonder about the world and again how little you know about it i'm pretty sure a lot of the things in this book i've learned when i was a child but listening or reading or seeing or just absorbing information from a child and comparing it to absorbing information as an adult is completely different there's just so much wonder again that i felt while reading this and i'm very excited to know more it's written in a way that's easily digestible it's not boring it's not like um, a school textbook like it's a pretty thick and heavy book but for me it's super duper worth it and i'm very excited to read more about it i didn't even read the full title it's called sapiens a brief history of humankind those are all of the books that I wanted to talk about and I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me ramble on and on. Like I said, this video is sponsored by Skillshare and if you guys didn't know, Skillshare is an online learning platform for creatives to kind of discover different creative parts of themselves through various classes. I really like Skillshare because there's really like a lot of different classes to choose from and they range from things like graphic design, photography, video editing, even Excel, which is very um, useful for like when you're working. As I was saying a while ago how I love making collages, but did you guys know that I don't actually, I'm not very good in Photoshop. I know how to use it, like I tinker with it, and I've used it for years already, but I've never really learned the basics, basics of it. So I'm taking this class called Fundamentals of Photoshop, getting started with the interface, tools, and layers. And it's taught by Meg Lewis, who is a designer. I really like seeing how other people use Photoshop and their workflow. It just inspires me, first of all. And also there might be a specific tool or like a button that I didn't know did that and would actually make my life way easier. So the first 1,000 people who click the link down below will get two months free of Skillshare premium membership. And that will just really help kickstart your creative journey. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. All right, okay, this video was way chattier than I expected it to be, but I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I hope you guys stay safe, stay true and real to yourself. I am very, very happy that you guys are in my life and I wish you all the best. This video is from my heart to yours and I'll see you guys next month. Bye!